if you are that person that keeps carrying your problems on your head you literally look like the human form of your problems look at Hilda Bassi please you guys if that is not somebody's motivation then I don't know what is Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ifilba. If you are a tiny subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and for sticking with me. And if you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video to watch it. And I hope that by the end of this video, you click the subscribe button and join us. But I'm going to be sharing five life changing tips that push me to do better and just elevate. So without wasting too much time, let's get right into the video. Okay, so the first tip that I'm going to be sharing is overcoming negative thoughts. Um, I was listening to the I Said What I Said podcast. Jola and FQ are just talking about how if you let these negative thoughts rule over you, you're not going to persevere at anything. Every obstacle that comes your way or any hurdle that you meet on your way, like on your journey, you're just going to be like, ah, I knew it. It was not even meant to happen anyways. I was not meant to do this thing. It was not meant to happen for me. What was I thinking? Who was I kidding? Like, did I really think this was going to happen for me? If you're intentional about overcoming those negative thoughts and you're intentional about moving forward regardless, whatever life throws your way, you're just going to look at it as another hiccup. Like, okay, okay, but I can do it this way. If it didn't happen this way, we can go through this side. That kind of thing. You're always going to look for ways to move forward and keep going. But if you're someone who allows those negative thoughts to eat deep into you, you're just going to give up at the first hiccup on your journey. The slightest inconvenience, you're going to be like, ah, what if you made me think I could do this in the first place? The minute we start showing up for ourselves and doing the things that we've told ourselves we are going to do, the quality of our lives will be so much better. This leads me to my next tip, which is practicing gratitude. Count your blessings. Learn to practice gratitude in your everyday life for the things that you do have and not dwell on the things that you don't have. You, you thank God and you practice gratitude for the, the good things that are happening in your life. More good will come. You'll become so much happier. You'll be at peace peace you just be content with the things that you have instead of constantly chasing the next thing that's not a good thing if you are that person that keeps dwelling on the bad and you keep carrying your problems on your head you're going to you literally look like the human form of your problems the third tip is learning to love yourself and this is so important because when you don't love yourself that's when you seek validation from others you will be disappointed if you're constantly seeking validation from the people around you your friends and your family and just people in general you have to do things that are true to you you don't need to be seeking validation from other people apart from yourself it is only what you think that matters put out what you want to put out this applies to you in the workplace this applies to you with your family this applies to you with your friendships when you love yourself you respect yourself and you will not be in a room full of people who do not respect you when you love yourself you respect your own boundaries you will not be in a room full of people who do not respect your boundaries who do not see your value the next point is hold yourself accountable i'm very very good at pushing the blame like I will blame every other person but myself. That's the worst thing ever because you have to hold yourself accountable. That is the only way you can move forward. That is the only way you can do better. When you acknowledge the problem, when you know that you're the problem, when you hold yourself accountable for things that are not going the way you had expected them to go, that's the first step towards doing better and making progress. You're not being consistent on YouTube. That's why your YouTube channel is not growing. You haven't met your weight goal for this year because you haven't been going to the gym consistently and you haven't been eating healthy. You're losing friends because you're not being intentional about your friendships. You set a goal to learn how to drive this year or to be driving yourself everywhere. Yes, you haven't signed up for that driving school. Stop making excuses. And I'm also talking to myself because I am my own problem and I need to do better. At me, me. Um, the next and the final tip is to surround yourself with like-minded people if you have a group of friends who who don't have the same mindset as you do let's say for example you decided that you want to get closer to god and you want to like be attending church every sunday you want to be attending midweek services you really want to you be a worker in church all of these things let's just, let's just let's use that as an example and you have people around you that are like giving you bombastic either just surrounded by people who are not 
doing any of those things do you really think your relationship with god is going to get better when you're surrounded with people who don't have the same desire that you do you need to surround yourself with people like-minded people who will push you who will motivate you the things that we are constantly seeing on social media we internalize we digest these things when your tail is constantly filled with things or people that don't really inspire you those trash things that you sh that that doesn't fit anywhere in where you're trying to get to in life or who you're trying to be or what you're trying to do with your life it just doesn't make sense because you'll be internalizing a lot of rubbish that's why it's very important to surround yourself with the right people and you need to when you follow people for the content that you know that inspire you and motivate you and helps you to get to wherever it is that you told yourself that you want to get to look at tilda basi please you guys if that is not somebody's motivation then i don't know what is that was the last tip for this video um, i really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as i enjoyed filming it if you like this video don't forget to like comment share subscribe and i'll see you in my next video